and welcome to another episode of Commander Arcade. The year is the future, and scientists, soldiers, dogs, and mothmen roam the land. Radiation pours over everything, and you can only feel better if you drink some pop. You've guessed it, everybody. We're playing the Fallout Precon Commander decks. We've got Judge Rob and Judge Eric here, and we're going to take all four of those decks for a spin. And hey, if you want to support the show, you can by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash glhfmagic. We have a bunch of different tiers to donate at, including our $10 tier, our influencer tier, which helps you influence the episodes that we make here on Commander Arcade. You can leave a comment down below with your favorite moment from today's episode for a chance to win the very decks that our little hands are shuffling. All right, Megan, I've got a costume to put on, so what do you say we get out there and play? <laughs> yeah! Sounds great! Are you scared? I'm the Mothman. The... <laughs> Are you scared? I'm the Mothman. I'll fly with my 100-foot wingspan into your car on the turnpike and say, what up? We're playing mutants today. I I'm the wise Mothman. <laughs> we're gonna put counters on stuff. We're gonna put counters on stuff. And we're gonna put counters on stuff. Beware, I'm a cryptid, and I know what I crypt did, and that's win the game. War never changes, and for Caesar of the Legion, that is definitely true. I'm going to make lots and lots of creature tokens, and I'm going to be attacking with them. I don't personally care if they live or die, so I'll be sacrificing my creatures for a lot of value, drawing cards, making more soldiers, or even hitting my opponent directly in the face with a bombardment. I will decide whether or not my opponents should live or die. Science. Science is what we're going to do. We're going to build some robots, and then we're going to destroy some robots, and then build more robots from those parts. We're gonna rule the wasteland with the power of our brains and the power of our metal, and we will use our minds as the final catalyst, the ultimate arbiter of what is good and bad. I plan to cast artifacts, I plan to make energy, and I plan to build out a humongous wave of robots to storm over everyone. Science. Hey everybody, I'm so excited for what's gonna be the best commander game of all time. We're playing Scrappy Survivors with Dogmeat, Ever Loyal, who is also a really great commander, and we're gonna cast a lot of humans, my very favorite creature type, and we're gonna give them lots of things to carry, like auras and equipments, because I'm just a dog, and I can't carry stuff, but I can't find stuff, so if it goes to the graveyard, don't worry, I'm gonna dig. What was that? What was I saying? Anyways, <laughs> let's go! I'm so excited, everybody. Yes, yeah, me too. We look great, we feel great. It's the future, <laughs> and it's bad, but we're gonna try and get through it. Yeah. Well, th that's what science is for. Science improves things. <laughs> Are we entertained? <laughs> yes or <Yes>. no? <laughs> Eric has won the die roll. Eric yeah, so I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna off. start by playing a tap land. I'm gonna pl oh, I gotta draw a card first. Uh, then I'm gonna play a tap land. Path of Ancestry, uh, I can tap for any color of my commander, and if I play a creature that matches the type of my commander, I get to scry one. Great land. Go ahead. Excellent. Great land. Draw for turn. Uh, I will play, ooh, which of my lands do I want to play first? I'll play a Nesting Grounds, why not? This is kind of fun. Uh, it adds colorless, or I can pay one and tap it to move a counter from target permanent I control onto another target permanent, activate only as a sorcery. Oh, so great, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amazing. go ahead. Uh, I also have a tap land. I have a mystic monastery. Go ahead. Oh my goodness. You all, what a start. I'm also going to play a tap land. Wow. <laughs> so I can be with my friends. It's a sheltered thicket. Go ahead. All right, all right. I'm the odd one out here. Well, yours taps for colorless mana, which okay. means it's actually I'm worse than all I'm going to play a basic planes uh, with beautiful full art. Um, okay. And then I'm going to cast my, the first Fallout card of this game, McCready, Lamplight Mayor. Uh, legendary Human Advisor 1-3. Whenever a creature I control attacks with power 2 or less, it gains Skulk until end of turn. And whenever a creature with power 4 or greater attacks me, its controller loses 2 life, and I gain 2 life. It, did that match your commander's type? Did you scry? Oh, you're right. Oh. Uh, I get to scry oh. because this is a human, and my commander is a human. Great uh, creature type. One of my favorites. <laughs> Top five. Classic dog right here. <laughs> this card is very cool. I'm gonna, you go, I'm gonna think about this. I already started to go, so <laughs> I played a forest and I'm gonna cast a rampant growth to Great. search my library for a basic land card. Put cool. on the battlefield yeah, tab. Yeah, I'm, wow. I'm gonna keep this. And when I say search my library, I mean the top 10%. <laughs> 
Um, I assume you're gonna make some choice. You're not gonna do anything else? Yeah, you can go. Okay. I did top with my scry. Uh, I'm gonna cast Wayfarer's Bauble, which is like oh. an artifact that rampant growths. Uh, two tap sacrifice to that thing. Uh, and I'm gonna play Razor Tide Bridge, which is an artifact land that taps for water. Wow. Go ahead. Wow. I gotta swamp everybody. That one's indestructible, right? Yeah, this is indestructible. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna play a mountain, and then I'm gonna play a gunner conscript, which is a human, my favorite creature type. <laughs> it has is a two two with trample. It gets plus one plus one for each aura and equipment attached to it. When it dies, if it was enchanted, I make a junk token. When it dies, if it was equipped, I make a junk token. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna draw a card. Wow, crazy that that card is there. I would have never guessed. Uh, I'm gonna play a nomad outpost tapped. And I'm gonna cast Talisman of Indulgence, which is a mana rock, uh, and then I will attack. Rob for one. You got me. Oh no. First blood. Go ahead. Dubbed by the legions of Rome. I get it. I will draw for turn. This deck is uh, doing some interesting things I'm finding about out about now as I draw my cards. <laughs> interesting. Uh, I'll play an island for my turn. Um, ooh, I could even cast my wise Mothman. He's so wise. Get on out here. The wise Mothman's coming to play. He's a 3-3 flyer. When he enters the battlefield or attacks, each player gets a rad counter. So let's get infected with radiation. Rads right. for everybody. Whoa. Everyone get radiated. I need my rad away. Yeah. Oh. So whenever one or more non-land cards are milled, put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to X target creatures where X is the number of non-land cards milled this way. Yeah, so the radiation counters work like this. Uh, at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, if you have any rad counters, mill that many cards. For each non-land card milled this way, you lose a life and a rad counter. So they go wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just how I do as a moth man. <laughs> do you think you're more man or more moth? It's a good question. I feel like I'm 50% man, 50% moth. By wow. volume what? or <laughs> what percentage of you is radiation though? A hundred. A hundred percent radiation. All right. <laughs> Touch me at your own peril. Fifty percent man. Fifty percent moth. A hundred percent radiation. <laughs> it's like rogue. If anyone touches me, they die. That isn't. We're just having a really bad time. That's not. Anyway, <laughs> hey Rob, I'm just gonna take my turn. Hey look, uh, we're not in that. the Marvel Cinematic Universe um, yet. I have, yeah. I have radiation, so <laughs> yeah, I mill like one so because I have one radiation. Um, I mill a non-land card, an expert level safe. We don't care what it does because it's gone, and then I lose my red counter and lose a life. Oh no. Uh, and that triggers Mothman. Yeah, you, Mothman, I milled a non land card, right? Oh, so I get to put X plus one plus one counters on up to X target creatures? Yeah. So one counter, one creature. All right, all right. I feel like Mothman's gonna get really big. Let's go, yeah. Mothman. Yeah, that's a thing, right? Do you wanna know a fun Mothman fact? I printed out a list. <laughs> yes. Sure. The first sighting of the Mothman was first reported in November 1966. <laughs> by two young couples who saw a large flying creature with glowing red eyes near an old World War II munitions plant. Oh. Mothman fact. <laughs> good, good facts. Great fact, great fact. Good facts. <laughs> and, these are, and these are verifiable facts. Yeah. I definitely did not ask ChatGBT to make them. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make a crab. Red Death the Shipwrecker. Oh, uh, oh wow. It's, uh, blue Red for a 1-3 uh, Crab Mutant. Uh, it has alluring eyes. I can tap it to go target creature and opponent controls. That player draws a card. I add red. Wow. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> I just looked into a crab's eyes. They're so alluring. Alluring oh, crab. Look at, look at the art on this card. It is literally yes. glowing I red eyes. I love this yes. art. <laughs> it's so creepy. Uh, and then I guess I will play a tap land, Prairie Stream. Go ahead. I'm gonna untap. Me the tap blank. I'm gonna draw a card. Wow. How long can Megan keep up this dog fit? That's <laughs> no. my real question. Oh, game. I think I think the whole time. <laughs> okay, wait. It's I'm going to radiation. I mill a canopy vista. It's right. just there now. It's a land. I'm still irradiated. I'm going to play the scavenger grounds. It's a desert. It adds colorless, or I could sacrifice a desert to exile all graveyards by paying to and tapping it. Then I'm gonna play this Basilisk Collar. Oh, I love a collar. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna equip it for two to my Gunner Conscript. He's a 3-3 now, he's the best. Um, <laughs> he yes. has lifelink too, right? And he has lifelink life and, death touch. and death touch. Uh oh. And then I will go ahead and I will attack Eric for three. 
I will take three, and, and you will gain three. Gained three. What a good time. No, I have. <laughs> oh, I, I'm radiation. Milling, radiation, I mill the tainted field. That's a land. Nothing else happens. Do you imagine if real dogs could drink coffee? <laughs> it would they, be. There's The only thing preventing them is us. <laughs> You, you do realize that, right? Have you ever thought that you're the only thing standing between a dog and coffee? Yeah. <laughs> that in an early death. <laughs> uh, I am going no to cast Wild Wasteland. So Wild Wasteland is an enchantment that says I skip my draw step, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I exile the top two cards of my library, and I can play those cards this turn. Wow. Uh, and then hmm. I will attack back Megan. For one. Okay, I take one. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I undamp. Let's draw. Ooh, that's a fun draw. Uh, what fun cards? Okay. And then radiation. All right, radiation mill. Let's go. Temple of Milady. Uh, <laughs> Mills. <laughs> Milady. <laughs> I will uh, play a swamp for my turn. Mm. Um, and let's start having some fun. And that includes. Uh, casting a hardened scales. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so things might get out of control fast here because this is an enchantment that says if one or more plus one plus one counters be put on a creature you control, that many plus one plus one plus one counters are put on it instead. Look at my little floppy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, uh, and, and to follow that up, let's play Infesting Rad Roach, <laughs> which. Great. Uh -oh. It's a great name. Mm -hmm. um, flying, can't block, it's a 2-2. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, they get that many rad counters. Oh. <laughs> Whenever an opponent mills a non-land card, if infesting rad roaches in your graveyard, you may return it to your hand. Because the roaches can't die. Yeah. You yeah. See? They sure can. Nuclear they disaster. Cannot. They just get bigger. Rad roach yeah. come back. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now it's time for my favorite magic phase, which is combat. Um, let's see, I have a 4-4 flyer. Anybody, anybody, uh... You can attack me, it's fine. I feel like you'll just attack me back. Oh, I probably will, With your but basilisk collar. It's not, it's not personal. <laughs> it's just happening. <laughs> uh, I'll attack Rob, why not? Uh, no blocks. All I right. take four Mothman damage. Yep. Four Mothman damage. Yeah. I've taken four Mothman damage. Okay, excellent. Um, that's my turn. I will pass. Um, I draw a card. I don't have radiation, so I don't mill. Oh. Congrats on being cured. Thanks. Um, He's a scientist after all. That's <laughs> true. Uh, I'm gonna start by using my alluring eyes on your Mothman. You get to draw a card. Okay. Uh, it is goaded, so it must attack and it can't attack me. Next turn? Next turn. Okay. And you get red. And I get a red. Uh, eventually we'll all become crab. Yep. Yeah, carcinis carcinization comes for us the, all. Is that the theory? Carcinization comes for us yeah. all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything it's evolves into crabs or ferrets. Yes. <laughs> ferrets? Yeah, I mustelization. Hope, I hope like. I become a ferret. <laughs> well, it, so the, the ferret body type is really useful. It's evolved independently like seven times. It's not a quote I would want to attribute <laughs> to myself, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> the ferret body type is really <laughs> useful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Judge I Rob. think ferrets are great. I think crabs are great, too. Uh, so I made a red. I'm going to use Prey Stream and a red to crack Wayfarer's Bauble to search for a basic. And then um, I'm also going to play Terramorphic Expanse as a land and crack that and search for a basic. Wow. So I'm just going to do both searches. Two basics. Um, what are you doing over there? Making an omelet? Cracking yeah, pretty so much. eggs? Uh, I need another red source. Let's just find two mountains. Have you all ever been to the mountains? Yes. Yep. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to play another spell. Uh, I have yeah. a gift for you. Whoa. I'm going to cast Over Encumbered. What? It's, it's an enchantment aura. It has enchanted opponent. Oh, when it enters the battlefield, enchanted opponent creates a clue token, a food token, and a junk token. Oh. And at the beginning of combat on enchanted opponent's turn, that player may pay one mana for each artifact they control. If they don't, creatures can't attack this combat. Wow. Okay. You have Great. too much stuff. You I picked do up all the screws, stuff. a microwave, uh, and then I you picked done. up a bunch of bottles of Nuka Cola. Did and I pick it's up all, boxes? Yep, and they're and they're all weighing you down. I'm very excited. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. you get a clue of food and a junk, and it's your turn. Thank you. Oh, are you making me my clue, my yep. food, and my junk? Sounds like a great Christmas. I'm drawing a card. I'm milling a card from my radiation. Heroic intervention. Oh wow. So I'm no longer irradiated, but I do take a damage. Okay, so I'm on tap. Here's my clue token. 
my other two are still coming. It's fine. Yep. It's great, even. Good. Okay. Drumstick. Oh, well, I love it. I want to eat it already. <laughs> Amazing. There, look at him. What? What? Is it a lunchbox? Is what? it a suitcase? I don't know. It's a piece of junk that you found in the... Oh, I think it's like a part of I love it. a robot or something. Okay, I'm going to play this Evolving Wild. And then I'm also going to play this Harold and Bob. First Newmans. They're tree folk mutants and I love them. They have vigilance and reach. They're a 33. When Harold and Bob first Newmans dies, if it was a creature, return it to the battlefield. It's an aura enchantment with enchant forest you control and enchanted forest has tap. Add three mana of any one color. You get two rad counters. Harold and Bob loses all other abilities. I think they're great. Um, all right. And I cast, I tapped three mana to make that happen, which means I can't pay for these friends. Uh, and so I'm going to pass. All right. Instead of drawing a card, I exile the top two cards of my library and I can oh. play them this turn. Wear, wow. tear, curve, and charge. Wow. Uh, and then uh, beginning of my pre-combat main phase, I mill a card. I mill a soul ring. Uh, I would have liked that. Um, <laughs> the Mothman strikes life. again. <laughs> yes. Uh, he milled a non land. Oh, yeah. Do you think it's a counter? Oh. I think and both I of your also, things happen. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say, more. I also milled oh. a non land. That's oh. true. So, uh, just do them now. Yeah, just do everything okay. right now. Yeah. Okay, so everything gets a counter? Uh, Target you thing gets you, counter. One, one thing gets one counter, which becomes two counters. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh, who gave me this deck? <laughs> uh, you volunteered uh, for this job. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll give um, the counters to the infesting rad roach. So it gets two counters, one from you, one from you, and they both get doubled yes. from yes. grab yes. skills. Yeah, they both get doubled. So you get the four counters in that rad roach. Whoa, big roach! Uh, is there anything to... Are there any enchantments that are worth tearing? Probably. It would probably destroy hardened scales. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> hardened scales does seem like a real problem. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. I'm gonna cast you could do both. You could do tear. hardened scales and basilisk collar. But I want to cast my commander. Oh, fair. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Tear to destroy Heart and Kale Scales. How dare you? The Mothman will retribute. Um, and then... All right, I'll attack Maria because she's already not happy about me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so true. And so my one. Rad Roach is pretty great, but he can't block, so take one. Um, And I know I said I was going to play my commander, but I'm not. Pass. Whoa. <laughs> oh. The lies have already suspicious. started. <laughs> suspicious. Very suspicious. I'll draw for the turn, and, and so I'm, now I'm going to mill for my rad counter. Do we hit a land and so nothing happens? <laughs> nothing happens. I No, that stays. Yep. Um, I'm going to play for turn a Talisman of Dominance. Cool. Uh, which taps to add colorless, or it can add blue and black and deal a damage to me, which is pretty great. Okay, uh, and since you just destroyed my hardened scales, I'm going to play hardened scales 2.0. Branching evolution. Mm. <laughs> Enchantment. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a creature control, twice that many plus one plus one counters are put on that creature instead. What? Cool. That's Why? pretty good. So <laughs> yep. I told you the moth would re retribute, and here, yep. here it, the, it's happening. Um, okay, let's attack. Uh, you attacked me. That was rude. Uh, <laughs> Rob tapped on my creature. No, 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 no. It's goaded. It's goaded. The Mothman has to attack has and it to cannot attack. attack me. Okay. Yeah. Well, they so. both kind of have to attack because my roach has yeah. can't block. All right, let's let's attack. Mothman will attack Eric and Rod Roach will attack uh, Rob. And I'm okay. just a dog. The uh, dog no hasn't blocks? come at me yet. Yeah, so. I will not block. Yes. Yes. I have some commander damage, Mark. Yes. Oh. Wow. Fun Mothman fact two. Large wingspan. Witnesses often describe the Mothman as having a wingspan of about 10 feet or more. Whoa. That's a lot of wings. Go ahead. Uh, I draw. Mm. Okay. White and blue. Whoa. I'm going to cast Dr. Madison Lee. Uh, she's a human scientist. I love her uh, already. Whenever I cast an artifact spell, I get an energy. I tap and pay an energy target creature, gets plus one plus zero and gains trample and haste until end of turn. I can tap and pay three energy to draw a card. Or I can tap and pay five energy to return target artifact card from my graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Whoa. Oh, Great. Sh sorry, my Mothman should have given people rad counters. God dang it. Oh, when it, yeah. when yeah, it, yeah, when attacks. it attacks. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, we'll, do this, we'll do the most recent one. I'm missing um, all of my... Uh, do I want to uh, do you want to just mill for my rad counter right now? Sure. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so I milled Nerd Rage. Uh, <laughs> what a great name for a card. What a great card. Uh, so I lose a life, and uh, you get counters. Yes, and I have now two rad counters. Oh, on, you have a second rad yeah, on yourself. Okay. On myself. 
Okay. Um, yeah, so then a branching evolution is going to pump Two these up. Two counters on something? Yeah. Yep. Let's put them on the Mothman. Yeah, seems reasonable to me. Um, I am going to go with the Mothman. You can draw a card. Yay! While well, all this happens, Thank you. I'm going to crack this with all my wilds. Okay. Seems very reasonable. Um, I make a red. I make one. I cast Talisman of Progress. I gain an energy to my energy zone for Madison Lee. Because yeah, that's an artifact spell. It's the same as your talisman. It's just white or blue. Mm-hmm. And go ahead. Oh, man. I'm going to untap. And I'm going to draw a card. And then I'm going to mill a card for my radiation. Vault 101 birthday party. I take a damage. You get two counters on something. Yeah. Nice. In response. Oh. <laughs> um, so I'm being friends to you two. Okay. Uh, by being rude to Maria. What? Uh, I'm going to cast Vats. So Vats is an instant with split second, uh, which means it cannot be reacted to. Uh, It says choose any number of target creatures with equal toughness and destroy those creatures. There are two creatures with power with toughness six on Maria's board, and those are the two creatures I'm targeting. Wow! How could you? I have a hundred foot wingspan. Yeah, but you attacked me for four. Wow! (laughs) Great. My children. Um. This is this is great, by the way. Split second on Vats. In, yes. in the video game, when you use Vats, you go into bullet time, and then you get to choose your targets, and then after you've selected all your targets, the game then does all of the shooting for you. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is... Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to tap two mana to uh, crack this clue and draw a card. Wow, look at that. And then... Oh, my goodness. Um, I'm going to tap this shelter thicket for wild growth. It's an aura that enchants a land. Whenever the enchanted land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional green. I'll put it on this mountain. That seems nice. And then I'm going to eat this food and gain three life. I feel great. And then at the beginning of combat, I am going to pay one. No. Wait, no. You've got two artifacts. I have two artifacts. It's fine. You can sack the junk. I'm fine. That's true. (laughs) (laughs) Phrasing. But. You can throw your junk in the garbage. You can. (laughs) You can sack your junk. You can. (laughs) Um, mm -mm. Use is also the wrong word. Okay. (laughs) Do you know what? Brutalize. (laughs) No, I'm good. Go ahead. Right. I'm realizing I missed my McCready trigger from when you attacked me with Mothman. What happened? Uh, you would have lost two life, I would have gained two life. Oh. We can just do that. We can That's do it fine. now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This game, you know, big yeah, it's ass. a lot of it's a lot of, a lot of triggers. Too. A lot of triggers. Uh-huh. Okay. One, One more. more. <laughs> uh, I'm going to exile the top two cards of my library. Ruinous Ultimatum. Wow. And Battle of Hoover Dam. I uh, love the Hoover Dam. And then That's a lie. I'm going to <laughs> mill with my rad token. I hit a land, so nothing happens. Uh, and now I'm going to read. This card. <laughs> There's a lot all, of words on there. Did you all know that damning is a big problem in the history of the West? I mean, Western America. You know, people went out there and they were like, put dams on everything because they had the Works Progress Administration. They were yeah. like, yeah. But, but the Hoover Dam produces a lot of electricity and solves the, isn't it working to solve the, um, the that saline inland sea? Okay, the Hoover Dam, fine. There's a lot of dams. Big yeah. problem. Yes. Or small problems that add together to one big problem. I'm going problem. to cast the Battle of Hoover Dam. Uh-huh. Now, when I play this card, I get to choose either the NCR, which is the New California Republic, or the Legion, which, you know, Caesar is a member of the Legion. Oh, yeah. Depending on which one of those choose, I get an activated, or I get a special ability. Uh, for the Legion, which is what I'm choosing, whenever a creature I control dies, I put two plus and plus encounters on target creature I control. Amazing. Okay. So I'm stacking up these Here's a weird enchantments. This is going away forever. Uh, and then I will attack... Rob, for one. You skulk underneath my Madison Lee. I sure do. I'll take a point of damage. And then I pass the turn. Okay, let's untap. Draw. Hmm. Okay, so let's mill for my two. I have two rad counters. Yep, so mill twice. Uh, rad storm. There's one rad. Oh. And overflowing basin. So. Oh, you take one damage. I take one damage. Uh, I'm going to play a Terramorphic Expanse for the turn. Mm-hmm. Um, and then let's play something fun. How about uh, Recon Craft Theta, uh, which is a fun card that uh, is a flying 4-4 vehicle. 
Uh, when it enters battlefield, create a zero zero blue alien creature token and put a plus one plus one counter on it. All right, I can make the alien. Oh, yeah. excellent! Love an alien token. Uh, whenever recon craft theta attacks, proliferate crew two. Oh, pretty cool. I think uh, that's all I'm gonna do with my turn. Uh, so it's gonna end with two counters because the counter play sounded is double to your evolution. Oh yes, so it's gonna thank end with you. Two counters when the alien token shows up. That's nice. That alien can already pilot that spaceship. Here is your alien token. Oh, look at him. What's going on here with his hand? He's got a ray gun. Oh. Wow. Um, I play a planes. Uh, I am going to cast Curie, Emergent Intelligence. Curie is a legendary artifact creature robot. I cast an artifact from Madison Lee, so I get another energy. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I will draw cards equal to its base power. And I can, for blue and one, and exile another non-token artifact creature I control. Curie can become a copy of that, except that it has, whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, draw cards equal to its base power. Uh, cool. So Madison Lee is going to give Curie plus one plus zero in haste until the end of turn by eating an energy. Uh, I'm going to get in there with Curie. And it's just one? But it's two, because Madison Lee gave it plus one plus two. zero. Two. All right. So it's two damage, but I draw one card. Yep. Uh, I draw one card from Curie. Nice. Red, blue, something, and one. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to cast Vault 112, Sadistic Simulation. Uh, so, it's a. this is a saga uh, for chapters one and two. Uh, it's going to tap up to one target creature and put a stun counter it, uh, on it, and I'll get two energy. I'm going to stun this. These tree folk. Harold and Bob. Harold and Bob. Yep. Uh, it's okay, counter. guys. It's just for a little bit. Yep. Take a nap. I think Harold Sleepy and Bob trees. were already stunning, personally. Yeah. Agreed. Yep. And so, then I get two energy. The the vaults of the Fallout fame were originally concepted as, we're going to save all the people of the United States from nuclear fallout. Everyone will get to go to these fallout shelters, they'll be safe, and then when the radiation clears, they'll return to civilization. Which was a lie. Vault Tech decided to do inhumane experiments on all the people that were living in the various vaults, which eat each vault had its own different experiment running. Uh, so in the case of these sagas that we're seeing, we're seeing the experiment play out on the different vault dwellers. Wow. <laughs> oh, I hope I get to be in the chocolate vault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass the turn uh, to you. There's, I don't there's an know example that of a vault where everyone's a clone of the, the stun same counter guy. Off, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Go by stun counter. Uh, all right, and I'm going to tap and sacrifice this junk to exile the top card. Duchess, Wayward Tavern Keep. Sure. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to cast her. Why, why would I not? I want this human citizen to be my friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's one, two, uh, and then this will be three, four over here. Hi, Duchess. Welcome. Um, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put a quest counter on it. One, remove a quest counter from a permanent you control. Create a junk token. All right. Nice. She seems great. Uh, I'm going to play this Clifftop Retreat, which comes into uh, play untapped. And then now it's time. I can play. I can pay for this over encumbered with just one. All right. Uh, what? I, I oh. want to go to your creature. You okay, can draw that's a card. fine. You can draw a card. My I would crab love to is draw my crab card. Get, does alluring eyes at your creature. I uh, can't look away. Yeah, you can't look away. Draw a card. I draw a card. Uh, and then you have to attack, and you can't attack me. Amazing. Do you know what? We were always going to attack. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm. I. It's only because I don't want him to die. I'll, I'm going to attack you for just three. Okay. Um, and you gain three. Yes, and I gain three. One, two, three. And then you get a quest counter. Can I get a quest counter, yeah. please? Uh, and then I'm going to pass the turn to you. Right. I'm going to crack now. my Terramorphic Expanse during your turn, because why not? Upkeep, Wild Wasteland hits a swamp and a Tainted Peak. Wow. And you're radiated, so you got a radiation. radiation flips. I don't think and I a quest. Elder Arthur Maxon, uh, which is a card that has text. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to lose a life. The creature gets a quest card, correct? Yes. Okay. I got a forest, FYI. I can cool. play a land. This one only does something if I control a swamp, which I don't have, so I'm going to play the swamp. Come on, this is going to go away. All right, I am going to cast... Nice. My commander. It's another human! I think he's great. <laughs> so I'm going to get to scry. I'll put that one on top. 
Uh, so Caesar is a 4-4. Uh, whenever I attack, I may sacrifice another creature. When I do, I choose two of these options. I can create two 1-1 one, one red and white soldier tokens with haste that are tapped from attacking. I can draw a card and lose a life. Uh, or I can deal damage equal to the number of creature tokens I have to target opponent. I don't currently have any. Wow. But it makes tokens before that, so you might be able to make tokens and immediately dome somebody, right? Right, exactly. Okay. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to attack Maria for one, but actually, <gasps> I'm going to sacrifice this uh, and use Caesar's ability because I attacked. Saved uh, by the bill. So I'm going to put two 1-1 one, one red and white soldier tokens into play, tapped and attacking, uh, and then I'm going to draw a card and lose a life. I've already lost a life from it. Um, and these two soldiers are going to be put into play, tapped and attacking Rob. Okay. So you don't have any blockers. Yep. Uh, so I have Battle of Hoover Dam active. Whenever a creature I control dies, I put two plus one plus one counters on a creature I control. Now, these creatures weren't in play when that happened, so the counters are going on Caesar. Okay. <clears throat> counters over there. So you take two, Caesar gets bigger. Yep. And I pass the turn. It is. It's the Mothman's turn. Yeah. Go Mothman. Get nothing. Uh. Go Mothman, go Mothman, it's your birthday, you were never born, you're a cryptid, you just exist from beyond time. Uh, okay, Is I'll that true? Draw. Do, were cryptids never born? Wow. <laughs> I think it depends on the cryptid. Okay. Yeah. And then you have a rad mill, I think? Yes, I've got a radiation mill, uh, let's do it. I hit find finality, so this is gonna leave, and I'm gonna take a damage. And you get to recover your you roach. Yeah, my roach can come oh. back. He kind of come back a lot of time, but he come back now. Um, back to my hand, roach. Roach, to me! <laughs> it's like Thor with his hammer. <laughs> but it's a It's very roach, radioactive <laughs> roach-shaped hammer. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Uh, okay, uh, what do I want to do? I have seven mana. That's a fun amount of mana. If someone came at me with a hammer shaped like a roach, I would run. Uh, yep, same. I would just be like, do you know what? I don't need to sort out what's happening here. Yeah. Nor do I need to in any way yeah. win this interaction. I yeah. simply must. Yeah. I can see. I yep. see. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to play a uh, Corp Jack Menace. Ooh. Uh, oh. Do you know this card? Yeah. 4-4 uh, Fungus Boy. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a creature you control, twice that many plus one plus one counters are put on it instead. Hmm. Hope you like math with this deck. Um, good job, Corp Jack Menace. Um... And then I want to play... Sure, we'll put the Rad Roach back out here. Oh. Very reasonable. And then we're going to um, go to crew, the crew phase, as I like to say in yes. magic. And what, is, what is driving your UFO? Okay, who wants to get in my UFO? Does my Rad Roach? Yeah, the yeah. Rad Roach will get in there because he can't block. So that's going to animate into a 4-4, and uh, it's going to attack. So I will attack. Um, you've been very mean to me, Caesar. I have. Um, but also, Megan is sitting there at 46. That yeah. also terrifies me. It's just life! You've won the last two life games, Life that she is say. going to gain back. <laughs> That's true. Okay, then I'll attack you. Well, <laughs> wow! No, like, we need to attack her. Like, we need to work together. No, you're right. It doesn't... Why attack me? Okay, I'll if you attack me, can you at least proliferate my Caesar? What? No! What? <laughs> Absolutely not. This is going to proliferate when it attacks. Yes. Good point. <laughs> Uh, no, I shan't. I attack you. All right, I'll take four. And my proliferate trigger will happen, and two more counters will go on my no, alien. four. Four counters? Because yeah, one twice. goes to two goes to four. Yeah. So this has six counters yeah. on it? Yes, it sure does. Yeah. <laughs> Moth power! That's a big alien. That is a big alien. That's a big alien! Yeah. Uh, I'll pass the turn. Okay. Uh, draw for turn. Uh, I have a Saga. This goes up. Um, I think that I want to be able to attack you, so I'm going to stun your... Uh, My Duchess? Your Duchess, yes. Oh, Duchess, it's okay. I'm going to get two energy. Duchess, the Duchess stunned sounds like, you know, like Lady Chatterley's lover, some kind of band yeah. novel. <laughs> Lady Audley's secret. <laughs> Duchess stunned. Okay. So Madison Lee is going to tap and pay five energy. And uh, is, she's going to return Wayfarer's Bobble to the battlefield, tapped. And then I'm going to pay uh, blue, blue, and one, two. And I'm going to cast Mechanized Production on this Wayfarer's Bobble. It's an aura. Uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, create a token that's a copy of Enchanted Artifact. 
Then if I control eight or more artifacts with the same name as each other, I win the game. <gasps> Whoa! This is just to make a Wayfarer's Bobble token. Every I was going to say, that seems a little difficult. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to actually get my production mechanized. I'm trying to, you know, make Wayfarer's Bobbles. I think whatever you want to do is great. I'm going to attack you with Curie. Oh my goodness! Uh, How so much damage? One damage from Curie. I take one, one damage um, from a robot. I draw damage equal to its base power, which is one. Uh, and then I'm going to cast... Another dude, Nick Valentine, Private Eye. Whoa. Uh, Nick is a legendary artifact creature synth detective, and it says it can't be blocked except by artifact creatures. And whenever Nick Valentine or another artifact creature I control dies, I may investigate. Oh. So he investigates the deaths of other robots. Whoa. I was going to say that I love that guy, but I'm a dog and I can tell he's not a human. Yeah, he's a synth detective. He's not a human at all. He's oh. fully robot. Cool. Fully, fully robot, robot all the time. And pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna untap. If you haven't played Fallout 4, that's a huge spoiler, but it's Shit. a pretty old video game at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw for turn. I'm gonna play this mountain. Wow. Uh, all right, and then I am going to cast Strong Back, Enchant Creature. Equip abil abilities you activate the target. Enchanted Creature costs three less to activate. Mm. Aura spells that target that enchanted creature costs three less to cast. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two for each aura and equipment attached to it. It's going to go on this gunner conscript. Oh, man. He big. All right. So he's plus two, plus two, uh, and then plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six. Wait. And then he's he's a six, six. Six, six. Life's licking death toucher? Trampler, yes. too. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's <laughs> not the way I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, at the beginning of my combat step, uh, I'm going to pay for over encumbered. Um, uh, and then I am yeah. going to have you draw a card so that I can goad that creature. Okay, I draw a card. <laughs> wow. Good work, Crab. It's time for Crab. <laughs> okay, for which creature are you goading? The 6-6. Six, six. Okay, the 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. You have a 6-6 six, six also. I we do. both do. Yeah, you both do. You both do! Okay, that's fine. Um, what if I attacked, Maria, what if I attack you with my 6-6, six, six, though? But the Roman Empire! I don't, I only have two soldiers. You, like, I'm I, not even an yeah. empire at this point. I'm just, like, some guys with spears. <laughs> <laughs> That's what an empire always says. <laughs> How it is this an empire, or is this just some guys with spears? Oh, I really don't like this. This makes me... This makes me shake with moth rage. Just take six. It's fine. You have 35 life. All right, I'll take it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then uh, it gets another quest counter. You know. Does it need more than one quest counter? I don't know. Wait. Uh, yeah, because I can remove quest counters one at a time. Oh, okay, mm. got it. Cool, cool. All well, right. Working. Uh, that is everything that I am doing. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna untap. Friends. I, they're not friends. Let's be real. They yeah. are people I'm using. Yeah. For... Period. <laughs> wow, he said look, the quiet part out loud. No, no, no. Yeah, look, you don't understand. Caesar is a jerk. <laughs> um, Whoa, hot take. So Jake. in the game, he he's like an educated individual who knows a lot about history. And so he's using the Roman Empire's like playbook from history wow. to all these uneducated people from the wastelands to like make an empire. Why? Like, why write a playbook when a playbook exists? Yeah. Exactly. And so he's not telling anyone that, oh, this happened hundreds of years ago. Yeah. He's just going, oh, yeah, no, I'm Caesar. I'm this Does like, he know what chosen emperor. Caesar, say, it's... Yeah, but he's going to leave that part out. But some... <laughs> someone find <laughs> the book, though. You know? Yeah, exactly. If someone finds the book. Um, okay, so I exiled two cards off the top. Um, I have a convoke card and I have a land um, from Wild Wasteland. I'm going to play that land. Uh, and then I'm gonna read this card. Uh, convoke, destroy target creature or planeswalker. Each creature that convoked lethal scheme connives. Oh. Okay. I love that. Card. Well, you better watch out. All of your soldiers might be conniving. Yeah, I think it's the, my uh, favorite. Convoke I'm going spell to cast Captain of the Watch. Whoa. Uh, when Captain of the Watch enters the battlefield, I make three 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens. And yeah. it has vigilance, and soldier creatures I control have plus one, plus one, and vigilance. It's getting wow. out of control. Mm. So I went from just a bunch of guys with spears to now I have people kitted out with AKs, and we are ready to roll. It's getting out of control in Rome. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, so I am going to go to combat. Yeah, that's what you think. I, mean, I allow it. <laughs> uh, I am going to attack. Um, you have a six-six alien. I sure do. Hey, I'm going to attack Megan with my commander. Okay. And then I'm going to attack with a soldier token that I'm going to throw away. Uh, and it has vigilance, so I'm just. Yes. Yeah, these are both coming out wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, Caesar triggers when you declare attackers? Caesar triggers. I'm going to sacrifice one of the new soldiers. Okay. To make two 1-1 one, one white, uh, red and white soldier tokens that are in, coming into play tapped and attacking, and I'm going to draw a card and lose a life. Okay. Who are these new soldiers attacking? They are both going to attack Megan. What? Why? Those I blocked two? one of them. Yep. Okay. Uh, so How I much had am I, taking? I had a creature I control that died. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to put two plus one plus one counters on one of the attacking soldiers. Back in Rob. Um, and then this one's going to die and put two plus one plus one counters on to capture the <laughs> So at the end of this, I should have two soldiers here and one tapped soldier. And then my post combat, I'm going to connive cast this little scheme. Uh, wait, I need a black creature to do that. Oh, no, he has vigilance. He, he shouldn't be. Um, that, so I was like, I had a plan for this. I was like, you better watch out. This <laughs> yep. soldier is questioning what's okay. happening in this Roman Empire. Uh, so oh, I, I got put one, one three on from Sorry. Captain of the Watch, and then I got two from Caesar's Legion, but I sacrificed two of them. Yep. So I am yeah. at the correct number of soldiers. And then I, so I take four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And you were attacking one, me with two, two of them, three, right? Four, and I was five, attacking you with six, two, seven, two, two twos, but one of them became a four four. Okay, so six total? Yes. Great. Um, and then I am going to knive. I'm going to tap Caesar and this for black. Then I'm going to tap the questioning sh- soldier. They need some experience. And then uh, this guy who looks like we just found him anywhere. Um, and I'm going to cast Lethal Scheme. Uh, and I'm going to destroy the gunner conscript. He's going to take a valorous stance. Ooh. So he's going to become say, indestructible? He's going to become indestructible. Ooh. Okay. Well, I am going to get to connive uh, three times. So connive says, draw a card, then discard. Uh, so I'm going to do that three times. Do I do one at a time? Yeah, one at a yeah, time one because a time. it matters okay. to determining whether it counters the draw. creatures. This is the Caesar one, I assume? Yes. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to discard this Temple of Malady. So then no counter. Okay. Questioning Soldier, I'm going to draw. Then I'm going to discard... Charisma bobblehead, which will put a counter on that. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to draw. Wow. And I'm going to discard Paladin Elizabeth Taggarty. Or a counter on that, counter on that one. Okay. You really surprised them all, my friend. Good job. This is out of control. This is. This is. I agree. Pass the turn. <laughs> Unbelievable! What's going on? Unbelievable. Yep, it's a problem. We Some... need to defeat the legion. You do. You, I'm now officially a legion. <laughs> yeah, that became a legion kind of overnight. Something's rotten in the state of New Rome. I'll tell you that. What can we do? What do we? Uh, what can we do, fam? Here about this. Uh, well, what can you do about it? So we can kill Caesar. If you can kill Caesar, that'll stop a lot of this. Okay. It does. Uh, Wow, Brutus. Eat two, <laughs> yeah, <that's>, Brute. <laughs> yeah. Brutus uh, had the right plan. Uh, like, was Brutus a hero? I think Brutus was a hero. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and a- atomize Caesar. <laughs> yeah. Destroy Whoa. target all-land permanent. Proliferate. Yep. All right. He's going to turn into atoms. He has been atomized. Uh-oh. So I'm going to proliferate on to the more counters on that alien. How many more? Four more. Uh, yeah, a and one creature, from proliferate doubles from this, doubles from that. A four. creature I control has died, so I get to put two plus and plus encounters on a creature. Wow, my alien is thick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why I put it that way. <laughs> um, oh, I think you do. <laughs> Someone needs to get to the chopper here. <laughs> I mean, your bug pilots your helicopter. I, I think that's just the way that goes, right? Yeah. I mean, everybody knows that roaches can pilot alien crafts. Yeah. yeah. But I like him. Oh. I want him to attack. Them. Roaches Fair invented enough. alien crafts. Mm-hmm. And then they time traveled back from the dystopian future where they invented them. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But I they, but they don't need to evolve. Yeah. You or so no? Okay. Wait. Al- roaches are aliens, and it's how they got oh. here. Yeah. 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 So al- roaches invented alien crafts because they are the aliens, and how else would they have arrived? 
All right, I'm going mean, to, before combat, I'm going to play Hancock Ghoulish Mayor. Ooh. Uh, watch out, this mayor is ghoulish. Uh, it's a 2 1. Each other creature you control that's a zombie or mutant gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of counters on Hancock Ghoulish Mayor, and he has Undying. Um, so I don't have any other zombies or mutants. Oh, I do. You do. Yeah, I'm yeah, right um, But, you know, no counters on Hancock. Um, yet. Yet. I'm going to have Hancock crew the Theta and then attack with Rad Roach as well. I'll have the Theta go at Megan and the Roach go at Eric. All right. Okay. Um, I can't block flying. Wow. Do you know what? I will block the 4-4 with Harold and Bob. Sorry, Harold and Bob. Aww. Um, but they die, and then they come back as an aura enchantment to enchant this sheltered thicket, which is a forest. It now taps to add three mana of any one color and gives me two rad counters if I do that. Hmm. Uh, rad Roach is going to deal two combat damage to Eric, and then you get yep. that many rad counters. I get uh, two. Did you proliferate when this attacked? Two rad. So this, yeah. Yeah, I will proliferate now. I am at yep. two rad. So this goes up to six. Then I'm get two more. Two yep. more? <laughs> Look at that. This alien. 14, 14? Wow. What a cool it's dude. not attacking. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Go ahead, Rob. All right. I'm going to untap. Um, I'm going to mechanize production a copy of Wayfarer's Bobble. So it's going to come out here and be underneath these. Bobble number two. Yeah, Bobble two. And then I'm going to draw a card. I am going to advance my Saga to three, uh, which is going to pay any amount of energy. I'm going to pay this one. If I paid one or more energy this way, shuffle my library, it's already random. Yep. Do we care? No. That's okay. already random. Um, so I exile the top, exile that many cards from the top. I may play one of those cards without paying its mana cost. It's a spire of industry. Cool. <laughs> all right, got it. So you didn't, you did kill Caesar. You didn't solve all yeah, those. Caesar nerds, died. But wow. Well, I guess I kill killing Caesar's not good enough for you anymore. No, I, I'm trying to figure okay, out what wait. I need to do. If you take care of that alien, I'll take care of these guys. I don't, that's I don't like don't hearing a that. Promise. I can't really solve that alien. I'm well, not gonna... in that case. Like, I can make the alien fight somebody but me. Because this that's... crab with its alluring eyes oh, yeah, that's... Uh, is good that at his job. That definitely doesn't solve it for either of us. Ev, yeah, that's not... Eric, I'm also, I'm not also fine with just blocking the alien with a 1-1. One, one. So, like, I can do that. Uh, I'm going to cast an artifact spell. It's a Sultron Dominator. Uh, it's an artifact creature robot. It's a 2-2 for red and one. When it enters the battlefield, I get two energy. Uh, also, I cast an artifact, so Madison Lee gives me an energy. Uh, whenever an artifact creature I control attacks, I may pay an energy. If I do, put my choice of a plus one, plus one counter, first strike, or trample counter on that creature. Whoa. Um, pretty useful. Turns energy into actual useful things. Uh, and then I'm going to cast... I'm going to cast Thought Vessel, which is a mana rock that says I have no maximum hand size. Uh, that... Gives me an energy for Madison Lee. Uh, let's go to combat. Megan, and I attack you with Curie. Okay. And Nick Valentine is going to attack Eric. I take one. Oh, I take two? Yep, you take two from Nick Valentine. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to draw a card for Curie. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Everybody untaps. Oh, Okay. Cool. Um, all right. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to play this masterwork of ingenuity and have it enter as a copy of Basilisk Collar. Um, Great. Why, yeah. you ask? Well, it's just because, you know, like... Uh, and then I'll tap two to equip it to this guy. <gasps> well, lifelink doesn't stack, remember. I know, oh, but, but the, it gets plus two, back. plus two, oh, and plus yeah, one, plus smart. one. So smart. it gives it plus three, plus three yeah. yep. uh, for that. Um, and then, so this is uh, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's an 11, 11. That's this nice. This is why I tried to kill it last turn. Um. Hmm. This 1111 is going to go ahead and um, I'll attack Maria with this 1111. Did you pay two mana for that? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Here you go. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. I am very. And I, I mean, I'm not going to go this time. I am. I'm attacking Maria. But why so. would you attack into my 1414? Because it has death touch. Uh, but I love my alien son. That's your you problem. Could, you can trade for this giant, giant nerd. Yeah. He's a giant, giant, nerd. giant nerd, giant nerd. 
All right, I'll block the alien. Okay. Um, you can. It has trample and death touch, so you still take. But you do kill it. Yes. How much? How big did I say it was? 11. 11, 11. 11, 11. So you take ten. I take ten. I gain eleven. Oh my god. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, <laughs> this is not like a. It's not only sorcery speed. Yes. Yeah, so so can, it's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yep. Yeah. Make two junks. Yep. Two junks. I need one more junk. Yep. Working. This goes to the graveyard. This goes to the graveyard. Does the gunner trigger when it dies? I think it. Has um, something. when it dies, if it was equipped and if it was uh, enchanted, I make so I get four. I have four junk. Four junk. I have four junk. Um, which is a nice number of junk. Too. At this point, I think it's a trash heap. Going to cast uh for a single red this blasphemous act and deal thirteen to everything. <gasps> That I would like is to a lot of damage. Are you uh, uh, countering this spell here, uh, Rob? No, I'm gonna draw a card of Madison Lee. I think. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pay three energy and draw a card. All right, and everything. Then, did I draw a counter spell? No, I'm trying to take care not. of the soldier <laughs> problem. You all asked me to do this. Yeah. Uh, there goes Duchess. Yeah, and everything is gonna die. Everything Everything's dies. gonna I die. I have a except lot of Legion triggers that don't do anything. My uh, my ghoulish mayor has undying. So uh, three uh, artifact creatures I control died. So Nick Valentine is gonna investigate three times. Great. Okay. So I'm gonna make three clues. If somebody could make me three clues, Madison Lee goes back to the uh, command. Are zone. you done after that? Yes. Go okay. ahead. I still have two junk coming. Yep. I'm and away. I'll make you two clues. And uh, ha- I have three total clues. Three total clues. Hancock yes. actually comes in with two plus one plus one counters because of branching evolution still around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Neat. I mill two spells. Uh, so I lose my rad and I lose two life. Okay, I'm gonna play a black market. Uh, black market says uh, if a creature dies, I get a counter on it, and then at the beginning of my pre combat main phase, I get black for each counter on it, which would have been nice before the board wipe. Um, and then I'm going to play an impassioned orator. Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I gain a life. Um, I'm going to play this Wind Brisk Heights. Um, you're going to let me uh, hide away. Uh, and I also have a trigger from scrying here, so I'm going to scry first. Uh, and then I'm going to put that on the bottom, and then I'm going to hide away. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm going to put this on hide away, and then. I'm done. <laughs> All right, let's untap over here. Time to rebuild things from the ground up. Let's play this card. This seems fun. One, two, three, four, five mana. For my friend, the Mirelurk Queen. Yas Queen. Uh, mm. She's a 4-4 four, four crab mutant. So if you saw that crab, they might have a love connection. Mm. Vigilance. When she enters the battlefield, target player gets two rad counters. I'll give Eric those rad counters. I just got rid of mine. Whenever one or more non-line cards are milled, draw a card, then put a plus one, plus one counter on Mirekirk Queen, Mirelurk Queen. The ability triggers only once each turn. Neat. All right. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. I just want to remind you all that a clue can be anything if you're trying to yeah. solve a mystery. It could be a fish, a candle, or a wig. Mm, which a wig is, is a good clue. clue. Yeah, it's a wig is a good right? clue. Mm. In this uh, case, a judge's wig. Do you all know how much barristers' time? wigs cost? I'm sure it is a lot. They cost literally like thousands of pounds. Wow. Or one of those fancy powdered wigs. I, I, I was going to guess a number in pounds, but it was going to yeah. be like 300. <laughs> all right, I'm going to cast another thing. I'm going to cast Power Fist, um, which is a sweet Power Fist. <laughs> <laughs> that is an equipment. Equipped creature has trample, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one plus one counters on it with a quick cost of two. Ooh. That's going to be fun in a minute. Um, so let's have the uh, queen get in the copter and attack uh, the chopper and with Hancock, a ghoulish mayor. You're pointing at Megan. What? I see. She's 53. My and life, she killed all your permanents. My life yeah. isn't hurting you. I'm I mean, a dog. A bit. My life is making your life better. He did destroy all your stuff. I mean, it, it, I'm a dog. I can't. The help opposing myself. teams in Airbud weren't happier because of Airbud. Oh, he, he wow! Made them sadder. What a big, what a big assumption. <laughs> what a big assumption. <laughs> I guess while the shields are down, I'll attack them at me. Okay, yeah, I'll take four, five, so six, seven, eight. Uh, yep. So puts two counters on the mayor. Yep. 
Oh, you okay. should also put a, a rad counter on Eric. Um, Does it proliferate when it deals combat damage? When it attacks. Oh, so I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one, is going to proliferate, but I also have this evolution. Yeah, this is a double, so yeah. it, goes to, it gets four total counters. Right. It goes to four total counters. All right, four. Yep. And then do you wish to put another rad counter on Eric? I do. Okay. I'm just loading this guy up with rad counters. Do you wish counters. to give me an ed- another energy counter? Nope. Okay. <laughs> you tried, Bob. I, 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 you tried. I can ask. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I am going to crack a clue to draw a card. Mm, I'm going to crack a clue to draw a card. I'm going to untap. Mechanist production is going to make me another Wayfarer's bottle. Whoa. I'm going to draw a card for my turn. I'm going to play a Plains' as land for turn. Okay, I'm going to cast Madison Lee again. Red, white, blue, uh, Thought Vessel, and Spire of Industry. You're going to both make colorless. Madison Lee returns. And then I'm going to cast... Talisman of Creativity. Uh, Madison Lee gives me an energy. This is the, this is the red-blue talisman. And I'm going to cast... I'm going to use that Talisman of Creativity to cast Soul Ring. Madison Lee gives me an energy. And that puts me at four mana left. Go ahead. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw a card. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Um, I am going to go ahead and uh, tap red, green, and white to cast... Dog meat ever loyal. He's so cute. <laughs> when he ETBs, uh, mill five cards and return an aura or equipment card from your graveyard to your hand. So one, two, three. That was three lands. Four, Rogue's Passage, another land. Five, Behemoth Sledge. Wow. That's Ooh. gonna trigger Meyer Lurk Queen to get a counter. Okay. And a I mean, two counters. Yeah, two counters. <laughs> um, equipped two creature cards. gets plus two, plus two, and has yeah. trample and life. Like, card, that yeah. seems great. The Hema Sludge is great. Oh, I, that I draw a card. You're right. Um, or there's strong back. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to get back Behemoth Sledge uh, and put it in my hand. And then, uh, oh, dog meat, you're so good. And then I'm also going to cast Pre-War Formal Wear. <laughs> when it enters the, the battlefield, return target creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield and attach this to it. Uh, equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has vigilance. So obviously, uh, I'm going to get this gunner conscript back. Uh, yeah. There we go. That's really nice for him. And then uh, He's got a nice suit. Exactly. He has a great suit. Uh, so he is a 5-5 five, five with vigilance now. Hmm. Um, and then I will go ahead and pass the turn to you. Okay. Math, I'm going to exile the top two of my deck. <laughs> Gary clone. This is what I mentioned about the vault that has all clones because yeah. they're all Gary. <laughs> Gary! <laughs> and Memorial to Glory are the two cards I exiled. Uh, so Gary clone has squad, and when he attacks, each creature you control named Gary clone gets plus one plus zero until end of turn uh, with the flavor text Gary. <laughs> um... <laughs> Gary. It makes four Garys. <laughs> wow. Is a lot of Garys. That's a lot of Garys. Yeah, I'll play this Memorial to Glory. Um, and then I'm going to make four Garys. Gary. And gain four life. <laughs> wow, you just got your army killed and already you've got a new one. Yeah, I've conscripted the Garys. Oh, uh, they seem like they were waiting. To, this, I figured they would just, just tuck underneath. Yeah, oh, I yeah. made four. I made, or, there are four total. Oh, okay, got it. Yep, so one, two, three, and Gary are all here. I think you mean Gary, 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 and yes. Gary. Yeah. Gary, 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 and Gary are Gary? all here. I'm gonna gain one, Gary. two, three, four life. Uh, I also missed my rad. I'm gonna do that right now. Oh yeah, I didn't uh, tell you. Sorry. Spell, spell, spell. So yeah. I lose three life. I'm gonna put two more counters on this. Yep. Bad, it only triggers once each turn, but girl. it's still really good. And draw. Yep. All right, the Garys are here. Um, you have a lot of blockers now. I do. I'll pass. <laughs> Let's untap. There's other people to attack. Two, three. Yeah. And Maria was she tapped. already has a vested interest in attacking me, and I don't want to make it worse. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, play a, we'll play a land for the turn. We'll play this opulent palace. Comes into play tapped mm-hmm. for three colors of mana. That's nice. Um, 
we're gonna play this cool guy called Young Death Claws. <laughs> oh, oh, Death Claws. Yeah. But he's young, so don't he's worry young. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Menace. He's a 4-2. Each creature card in your graveyard has scavenge. The scavenge cost is equal to its mana cost. Whew. All right. I, o- I only have a Corpse Jack Menace and a... Oh, my Rad Roach goes back to Yeah, that should be back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that should be back from... I only have a Corpse Jack Menace in my graveyard, P.S., which is kind of... That would be four to... that that happen? Well, it'd, be, it'd be four to do it and then put eight counters on a thing. So the Sick. Death Claws in Fallout are like the Apex Mutant Predators. That you, if oh. you ever encounter a Death Claw and you're not wearing like power armor and have like a mini nuke launcher or something, you're probably going to die. Wow. <laughs> okay. They're very dangerous. Yeah. Well, uh, let's move to combat. Um, I mean, let's move to the crew phase. Because I need to crew my yeah. craft with my Death Claws. <laughs> And I'm going to swing in the air for four. Um, And, ooh, this has Vigilance, so I've got to attack somebody with that. I'll attack Rob with the Mirelurk Queen, because you you only have a 2-3 blocker, right? Correct. I'll attack um, Megan with my 4-4 Flyer again. Okay. And that's... You you have to proliferate. Proliferate. So, you get to put two counters on each of those things. This goes to plus six, plus six, and so does this. I'm taking four damage. And not doing anything about it. Not a fan of taking all this damage. I think I might just have to take 10 and be sad. Wow! Wow! That's damage. She's really valuable. She Mm -hmm. does all these things. She does a lot of things. I'm done. She has a lot of energy. You can go, Rob. Um, I'm going to crack this clue. Draw a card. So I'm really excited for when this video drops for the people in the comments to tell me how wrong I am about some of my Fallout facts. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I played the game over 10 years ago. All, hey, all of them. I played nobody, them like all at once. Nobody can dispute my Mothman facts. That's true. Did you know? <laughs> it is said the Mothman can fly at incredible speeds, with some reports suggesting up to 100 miles an hour. Where are these reports coming from? Well, if you're in, uh, is it Virginia or West Virginia? Uh, the Mothman was sp- first spotted in... Oh, where is that on here? Uh, West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah, if you're in West Virginia, I feel like you can just post on the internet about the Mothman. I'm also going to crack away for his bobble. If you're in West Virginia, please tell us about the Mothman. Mothman's if you're, in, if you're <laughs> in West Virginia, please tell us. Yeah, period. Yeah, just, <laughs> just warn us or something. Yeah. Uh, I cracked one of my Wayfarer's bobble tokens as well. But don't you want to get eight, Rob? I, I was considering it, but then I was like, I want to ramp because I Fair. need to be able to cast a fleet of spells and yeah. Oh, all I mean, right. That's, Madison Lee rewards you for storming with artifacts. So, okay. Uh, draw my card for turn. Suspicious. It, she, it's visible on the table. That's all she does. Uh, visible things can be suspicious. That's fair. What can she return right now? That crab. I just no, want to look crab, into its eyes again. Yeah, the crab is n- unfortunately not an artifact. It's very sad. Oh. Um, do you all remember that crab's eyes? Very alluring. <laughs> I love that crab's Very eyes. Very threatening. Oh, <laughs> love that crab's the eyes. The mom and that crab might have something going on, you know? See what? my eyes? It could be. Could be. I think we need to, like, shine a light at you to get the glare. <laughs> Speaking of my eyes, <laughs> uh-huh. uh, glowing red eyes, one of the most distinctive features of the Mothman is its large glowing red eyes. Oh. Yeah. You see? Mothman facts. One, two, three, four. I'm going to cast Panharmonicon. Ah! Oh! If an what? artifact or creature entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability for permanent control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Note that this doesn't give me extra Madison Lee counters because she cares when I cast artifacts. Yep. Ooh, but still. But still. But uh, still. I have been scarred by this card personally. Six, seven, eight, nine, Have you ten? been personally... <laughs> Have you been personally victimized by Panharmonica? Call this number. Raise your hand. Uh, Call yes. 1-800-ASK-GARY. Oh, wait. There they are. Yeah, 1-800-ASK-GARY's right here. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to spend one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh-huh. I'm going to cast Behemoth of Vault Zero. It's going to give me an energy for casting it from Madison Lee. Trample, when it enters the battlefield, I get four energy. Sorry, I mean eight energy. Um, Jeez. That's a lot. Wow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I get this giant stack of energy. I don't know if I thought my energy stacking through. <laughs> I didn't think I would make this much energy with this deck. 
Um, and when it dies, I may pay an amount of energy equal to target non-land permanent's mana value, and when I do, I destroy that permanent. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, you I haven't okay. played a land Revenge yet. Kill something. Yeah, I get to play a planes, and I have this blocker that can kill anything that attacks me, so I guess I'm fine. Uh, go ahead. All right, I am going to uh, get two rad counters to cast a breakdown on this over-encumbered, destroy oh, no. target artifact or enchantment, create a junk token. Wait. <laughs> I am Goodbye. no longer over-encumbered, Wait, even, I though I now have, even though I yeah. now have even more junk than ever. I need one more junk. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I do have two rad counters. Well, now that Dogmeat is no. here, Dogmeat has the gunner to carry all this oh, stuff. Oh, that's true, exactly. Yeah. Dogmeat's like, excuse me, human, please carry my things. Humans are great. Uh, I'm going to draw a card, and then I'm going to mill two for my rad counters, Path to Exile, and Well Rested. So I take two. One, two. I'm going to put two more, rad. two more counters on Mer- yeah. Queen, Mer- My Alert Queen. Yep. Draw Excellent. a card. Excellent. Um, all right. Do you know what? Don't worry. Sorry, I'm going to crack that junk and exile the top card of my okay. library. Fair enough. All the glitters? <sighs> Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control. Amazing. Hmm. I love it. Uh, I'm going to cast hmm. it, one, two, uh, and I'm going to put it on, wow, I'll put it on this Gunner Conscript. It wants to wear it. It's really excited about wearing it. Uh, then I'm going to, one, two, very three, big four, five, conscript. six, seven, eight, and then I'm going to uh, scry with this Temple of Abandon. I'll put that on the bottom of my library. Uh, and I will, uh, I will tap two to put this Basilisk Collar on this Gunner Conscript. Uh, so it's a one, two, three, four, oh gosh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, <laughs> thank you, and then... 15, 16, 17 from this guy. Oh, so it's a 17, 17 huh. lifelink trample death. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and there's one person who's been attacking me and it's... Me? Ma- well, one person? Yeah. Okay, you've attacked me though. I'm going to attack you with this gunner conscript. It's a 17, 17 life, is, lifelink death vigilance? touch. Vigilance with pre-war formal wear on. Cool. Absolutely not. It's a seventeen, seventeen. Is that you mute huge due to the due to the Hancock? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Oh, I didn't even realize this when I attacked the other. Oh turn. wait, whenever a creature you control is enchanted or equipped, attacks create a junk token. So it's an eighteen, eighteen. Yeah, because Hancock gives um, plus X plus X, where X is the number of counters on it, to something else. Um, I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and power and toughness over here. It has death touch. I know, but shouldn't I try and... Oh, that's fair. If you want to kill it. Kill yes. it? Yeah. And I'd go to two? You'd, yeah. And then you would just kill me? I'm, I'm not necessarily going to kill you. Uh, one, <laughs> two. Yeah. Three, four. When she's gaining 17 life, that's a lot of life. Okay. I think you should block. It's an 18, 18. All right, I'll block with my alert queen. She's an 18, 18, too, apparently. Okay. So... I, I have a thing before damage. Okay. Oh. Uh, one, two... Three, four. Uh, I'm going to cast Crush Contraband, which is an instant. Let's choose one or both. Exile target artifact, exile target enchantment. Oh. I'm going to exile the uh, equip the Basilisk Collar that's equipped to this. Oh. Uh, which both makes it smaller and gets rid of the death touch. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, what is so you're? I have Wild Wasteland, which is exile the top two and play them every turn. Uh, and then I have this, which whenever a creature dies, I get two plus plus encounters. And this, which is black market. Whenever a creature dies, I get black every turn for the creatures that die. Yeah. Um, I think I'd probably just stop you from drawing cards. I don't have any other better lines. Like, I suppose that I could I could blow up your, double your counters. Like, betray everybody. Those are big creatures that are yeah, going to kill. Yeah, let's exile this as well. So All right. I'm, I'm exile your equipment, exile yeah. your artifact, okay. your enchantment. So now it's a, it doesn't, it's small, it's, it's just going to die. Yeah, yeah, it's just a 16. That was the oh, green. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, it's just a 16, it's just, 16. That's all. It's yeah. just a 16, 16. Look, if die. I could have gotten them to actually both die, that was the optimal solution, but I couldn't get mm-hmm. them to both die. Um, it was still enchanted and equipped, so I still do get two junk tokens. You do, you so, do. Two more junks, please. You know what? I'm going to cast this, this uh, behemoth sludge. 
And I am going to uh, get two rad counters on here to tap for three uh, and put this uh, basilisk, this other basilisk collar on the mas- uh, on dog meat. Yeah. The second basilisk collar is your all problem. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. I solved the first one. All right, exile the top two. I hit a land and an anguished unmaking. There are so many problem permanents. There really there are. There are a lot of problem permanents. Like, do you see what's happening over here? Yeah, you could, like, removing Hancock is a great a great line, and so is the queen. None of none of Maria's stuff has trample, so I'm not as concerned about that. Like, Maria's, Maria's chill with me right now. <laughs> I think right. the problems are the Panharmonicon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so far, it's giving me four energy. So I spent four mana for four energy. And that's well, about what it's got to do at any given time. But you're a scientist. It's true. I'm going to use this energy you. to do a lot of science. Um, um, would also kill Rob's good blocker and kill him. Ooh. Um, that's intriguing to me. But I feel, like I, need, I, I feel like I need to attack Megan, though. <laughs> yeah. You all are just... We're just a dog. Last time you were just a horse. This time yeah, you're just, just a, a dog. dog. Yeah. It's true. Uh, I'm going to spend black and, from this and then two more... Cast anguish on making. Um, I'm it. going to target. Now what does it? What does it fully do? Uh, it's exile target non-land permanent, and I lose three life. Uh, so I'm going to hit the and harmonicon. Lose three life. Exiled. Yeah, <laughs> that's no fair. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go to combat, and the Garys are attacking Megan. Whoa. They're all giving each other plus, uh, for each creature you control named Gary, they're all getting plus four, plus oh, so they're all five threes. Wow. Mm. Five threes? Yes. So I take five, 10, 15, 20? Yes. Would you all finally accept that I'm not a problem if I take this damage? I might accept that. Okay, I'll, Possibly. Take, I'll take 20. Depends on what else you do, but. You I'm taking 20 from Gary. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, I am going to cast this spell off of Windburst Kites. I'm going to cast Assemble the Legion. Oh. Uh, uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, I, I, make, my I put a counter on this and make a 1-1 one, one with haste for each counter on it. Yep. I remember that card. Yep. Yes. And then I will pass. Oh, boy. The future is a messy place, everybody. Mm-hmm. Remember that. Um, I'll play a Hinterland Harbor for my land drop for the turn. Uh, let's play uh, Marcus, Mutant Mayor. There's more of the mayors. I'm sorry, the mayor is what? A mutant. He's a 4-4 legendary creature mutant advisor. Uh, Vigilance trample. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card if that creature has a plus one, plus one counter on it. If it doesn't, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Oh. Hmm. And Marcus is a mutant, which is relevant with Hancock over yeah, here. Yeah, he's got plus six, plus six right Hold now. on, I have two mayors in my deck? Yeah. How does that work? We're having a mayor conference. Different towns, I guess. <laughs> Are there no, towns? They, oh, yeah, yeah. Every town yeah, in Fallout has, like, a, its own government system. Well, we've come to this moment. The moth has the power to destroy. <laughs> sure does. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> sure do. Yeah. Sure do. Uh, okay. I don't have any trample, though, as you pointed out. Mm-hmm. Um, that could change if I equipped Power Fist to something. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Uh, yep. <laughs> the thing that you do. <laughs> the moth laughs and the world burns. Um, okay, let's do it. You're equipping it? I'm equipping it. Gas. I'm shocked. It's going on the queen. The queen has a fist. <laughs> the queen, I'm not going to say it. Everyone thinks I'm going to say it. But I'm not going to say that she's going to fist somebody. Well, yeah, not gonna Maria, say it. you're not going to say it. <laughs> you just constructed your own Agatha Fisty is what you've done. Uh, I feel like I need to retribute on Eric. I didn't attack you. You didn't. And I, you said we were friends now, but yeah. I am a mothman, a creature of the darkness, and to darkness I shall return. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I kept all this man up. You oh. can attack someone else if you want. Oh. No, don't let him fool you. <laughs> Caesar is bluffing. You're going to trust Caesar? I got two cards in my hand. Mm-hmm. Two cards is not a lot of cards. I could have cast my commander. Yeah? I have the mana to do it. Okay. First things first. Marcus is getting in uh, the helicopter. The okay. Throwing that. We're going to attack. The copter is going to attack uh, 
uh, this, uh, oh god. Oh god, I don't want to attack Rob. He is this guy. This will attack Rob. That has that flying. Flies. Yeah, That's yeah, flying. Flies. Yeah. This guy, uh, Myra Lurk, the queen, is going to attack Megan. Why? I don't know. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm you sorry, attacked her for, me. You attacked her for like 18 on your turn. Yeah, but you ruined it, so I did nothing bad even happen. <laughs> it's, a, it's not. It's neither her nor your fault that I ruined this combat. So like, true. Wow. I think she's making a rational choice here. <laughs> oh, of course you do. Remember, I'll death touch it to death. Oh, but you God. get to trample over and kill her. I That's know. true. But I will death touch your creature in retribution, and you're gonna be killing this dog. I want you to look at him. I want you to look at him and <laughs> look at him as you kill him. <laughs> He's pretty cute. It's, it's well, stated. Yeah, but you don't have to block. It's your choice whether yeah, or not you that don't dog have dies. to block. You could take the hit for dog. Beat. I am also dog. <laughs> I am. All, we are dog. We are dog. We are dog. Got it. All right. So copter at Rob, queen at Megan. That's okay. my final decision. The, the, no all other right. attacks. No. No other attacks. Okay. Uh, you proliferate. So yep. You get to put a counter on things. Two more counters. Just on one. This. Only one because I got rid of the, oh. the doubler. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know if it was actually even the right call. I just needed to destroy an enchantment. I felt like I needed to. I think hitting Wild Wasteland would have been reasonable. Yeah, that was my other... Mm-hmm. All right. I, so that's a, approximately a billion, a billion. Yeah. Well, I do need to know exactly. I do think I die, but I I want, I want need to know. Okay, so 4, 10, 13. Plus 7 is 20. Yeah, uh, yes, 20. Oh, is it 20, 20? 20, 20. Oh, well, this is only a 3, 3, so I will still die, but I block it. It dies. You're taking it oh, down. No, you don't die, because lifelink. I No, I'm saying, but it's 20. If that's a 2020. You're, you're Wait, stopping three, three damage and from this gaining and three. gaining three, so you're going to three. I'm going to three. Wow. <laughs> See, I didn't even kill you. Wow. Okay, but you did kill this dog. How do you yeah, feel? Yeah, I did. Um, I guess I take dead. four. You take four. Uh, this is going to die, and then I'm going to get some um, cards from uh, Marcus here. You draw a card from this, and then this gets a counter? Correct. Yeah. All right. That's my turn. Um, uh, a creature died. So this gets bigger. Your end step. Madison Lee pays five energy. One, two, three, four, five. Exile is very rude, did you know? I can't rebuy her pen harmonicon. So yep. I'm gonna rebuy Sultron Dominator, enters the battlefield tapped. It gives me two more energy back. Um, and then I get to go, I untap. Yep. My upkeep, I get to put Born of Wayfarer's Bobble towards my, my stack of those. Uh, I'm gonna cast Automated Assembly Line. Uh, it's an artifact. Whenever one or more artifact creatures I control deal combat damage to a player, I get an energy. I can pay three energy to make a tapped 3-3 three, three robot. I gain an energy from Madison Lee for casting this. Uh, I am going to cast Wake the Past. Return all artifact cards from my graveyard to the battlefield. They gain haste until end of turn. I get an expert level safe. Yep. I get uh, Curie. I get Nick Valentine. And uh, that's it. Cool. That is the sum total of the artifacts in my graveyard. And they have haste. They do have haste. Expert level safe enters the battlefield. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, exile the top two cards of my library face down. So the safe has two unknown things in it. Uh, one and tap, I and target the opponent each secretly choose one, two, or three. Then those choices are revealed. If they match, I sacrifice it and put all the cards exiled with their owner's hands. Otherwise, I exile the top card of my library face down. So it builds up cards underneath it if mm. I fail to crack the safe. Until That's it... kind of cool. It's very cool. Yeah. Uh, and then, do I just make a giant combat? Make a bunch of energy and die. You have that you have choice. No oh, I feel when right. I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Megan has no blockers. I have no blockers. And no mana. And no mana. A lot of junk though. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Uh, yeah, let's go to combat with a bunch of robots. All right. I think Behemoth of Vault Zero gets to stay at home and be the blocker that he's always dreamed of being. Battle bots, battle bots. And then I would die to the carries. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably dead to the Garys anyways. Yes. I'm not going to Well, not gonna if you, here. okay, wait, if you don't kill me, I can take care of the Garys. Oh, that's true. That is true. If you don't kill me, I can solve Maria. Yeah, but then you'll kill me well, on the way through. Like, one no, Gary kills me. All right. I won't attack you to solve Maria. Then you'll get another turn. Oh. I don't know. I think Caesar only betray. Yeah, Caesar, Caesar will betray. betray me, but... Do you know who never betray? Yeah, but I'm not going to betray an agreement between players. Like, <laughs> whoa, okay, okay. Yeah, but it's true. Like, generally, if I make a deal with somebody, I'm not going to renege on that deal. <laughs> mm, you say that now. 
Soltron Dominator attacks you. Um, I'm gonna spend two, en- or I'm sp- gonna spend an energy to put a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. Um, Dog die. And then you've no artifact creatures. Attack you with Nick Valentin. I'm gonna spend an energy to put a plus one plus one counter on Nick. I take three. Uh, I still have Curie. Uh, oh, okay. I think I'm gonna attack you with Curie as well. I'm already dead. Yeah, but I get to draw a card. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I. Attacked you with these two robots. I attacked you with this robot. You took three from Nick. Three. You took a bunch. I uh, die. Curie draws me I a card. I die. Um, and I get one energy. It's not the number of creatures. It's just one energy from my just assembly one. line. Are you gonna make Rob look into the eyes of your dog that you killed? <laughs> yeah, I did science. I'm not proud, but sometimes you need tests on animals. Wow. <laughs> Wow, Rob. Rob lost all his fans in one moment. <laughs> and in that moment, yes, and in that second, damage was done. That could not be undone. Uh, I guess that I work on cracking this safe. I wish we could say no animals were harmed in the making of this video, but we cannot. We cannot say that. Uh, I'm going to try to crack this expert level safe. Okay. So um, people need to secretly choose a number. Ooh. Uh, you're going to secretly choose a number. I've chosen. One, two, or three? Well, yeah, it's easiest if we write these down. Okay, thank you. Welcome. One, Uh, two, or three? Yes. All right, what would a moth choose? That's a good question. Wow, light bulb. (laughs) (laughs) Light bulb. (laughs) I've chosen. Reveal our number. Oh! We do not match, so the safe gets another card. The safe is still locked. What are you gonna do with all that junk now that you're dead? All that junk up in your trunk? (laughs) Wow, you know what? Uh, this is why they say you can't take it with you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe I've played a land this turn, so I'm gonna play this command tower. Um, and then I'm gonna cast this ever-flowing chalice with a multi-kicker of three. It enters the battle, it's a multi-kicker two mana. So it's I spent six on this zero-cost artifact. Uh, it enters with three uh, charge counters. And then it taps for mana equal to the number of charge counters on it. Uh, I cast an artifact, so Madison Lee gives me an energy. On your end step. Yep. Oh no. I'm gonna cast yep. Secure the Wastes to make X11 white warriors. I make five of yep. them and gain five life. Wow. Uh, I don't know how I close this out. <laughs> I have Here. You have five more. Five soldiers. of these. <laughs> yep. Terrifying. Uh, oh. they're warriors. They're warriors. Which one. might matter for some creature type matter stuff. Uh, assemble the Legion triggers. I get one of these. Um, and I get one soldier with haste. They're all Garys. This is a soldier with haste. Uh, and then I'm going to trigger the Wild Wasteland, exile the top two. I have intangible virtue and heroic reinforcements. Oh, oh no. no! Y'all are very dead, and I made an agreement with you, which is <laughs> yep. a problem. Yep. <laughs> I'm, break, I'm very break, happy that I break, made this incidental it. agreement. How can you honor it at a time like this? Look, I think we're gonna have to go to Caesar for this one. So first I'm gonna cast this intangible virtue. Uh, then I'm going to cast... Well, what is that, Tim? Uh, Intangible Virtue gives my creature tokens plus one, plus one, and Vigilance. Wow. Uh, then I'm going to cast Heroic Reinforcements. Uh, well, can I cast my commander two? One, two, three, four, five, six, and two. Calm down. So I can't play Heroic Reinforcements and my commander. Yep. But I can play Heroic Reinforcements. You can. Um, I'm also going to cast Heroic Reinforcements, which is going to make two soldiers. Creatures I control gain haste until end of turn and plus one, plus one, so they all have... Plus three, plus three effectively. I gain two more life. Uh, and then I have my five warrior friends as well, which are all here. So, Caesar. Does Caesar. Betray me. Determine <laughs> if you should live or you should die? I mean, this is the scene where Russell Crowe comes out and, you know. Just stares at the emperor, right? Yeah. So, what, 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 what have you done to entertain me? I, I murdered a dog for you. That is true. Whoa. Big. That is true. That is pretty big, and I think or deserves he... revenge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So I think Caesar says <laughs> death. <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna attack both of you with a lot of creatures. Yeah. I, do, um, I don't have any good lines here. You have like one blocker? I have Madison Lee and a behemoth. You have two blockers. I also have two blockers. So if I send three Garys at Rob, Gary, if Ro- the Garys kill Rob. Yep. I didn't even have to send the Garys to Rob because all my guys are four fours. Uh, if I send three warriors to Rob, Rob will die. 
Uh, yep. And then everything else at Maria. Um, so, Rob. <laughs> do you have a board wipe? My hand is empty. Okay, I'm not going to betray you. Okay, you I'm can not draw so many you. cards. I can't betray. Yeah, you can draw a lot of cards, but I've got so many untapped blockers. Wow, Caesar like, has morals. Yeah, Caesar. this Caesar has morals. I'm not going to betray Rob. As okay. entertaining as it would be to go back on it, I just don't do those. In, I don't do that in games. Like... I, I felt bad doing it, the, even though okay. it was funny. Um, so all of these creatures are attacking Maria. Wow. I, before I die, I have a mock fact <laughs> to read you. <laughs> Did, Did you know, know over 100 eyewitness accounts of the Mothman were reported in the Point Pleasant area between 1966 and 1967? In one year? One year. Wow. Wow. 100? So like that's every third day on average there was a report, give or take? I was busy. Anyway, okay. I'm dead. So we're now. We're now how many of them are like the same guy? All of them are me, obviously. No, I mean like the same guy reporting them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how many Garys were reporting? Oh yeah. Uh, go. Okay. Can you get out of this? Uh, Madison Lee is going to pay three energy to draw a card. So this is one stack of three energy. Okay. Cool. Good talk. Uh, that didn't really do anything. I'm gonna crack a Wayfarer's Bobble. Uh, Eric, two. if if you die on the crack back here, are you going to regret your decision? No, because it means I'll have honored my bargain. Yeah, it wow. means that you can trust me in future games. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Standing gamer, sir. Yeah, it really causes me to lose a lot of board games. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> okay. Now I know from here on out, I'm going to get into a deal with you so that you yeah, don't kill yeah. me. Especially yeah. if it really benefits you and only kind of benefits me. I'm going to make... Two, three, three robots with automated assembly line. People could make me some robot tokens. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it goes like it's it's make a step one, make a deal with Eric. Step two, question, question, question. Step three, profit. Yeah. <laughs> These are three threes you said? Rob? Correct. They're three three robot tokens made by my automated assembly line. Then I untap, I recover a uh, Wayfarer's bauble with my mechanized production. Uh, draw a card. His heart meter is almost full. <laughs> uh, I want to try to crack this safe. All right. Uh, you're the only person remaining in this game, right? Yes. Uh, this is Thought Vessel is going to be used to try to crack this safe. This is a robot. He has a knife because he's going to get you back for killing me. I have chosen my number. <laughs> I chose a number. <gasps> nice. You got me. All right. <laughs> I put another card under my safe. Um, it's not a great time. Uh, I like to imagine that the answer to my board is under the seat. It's under the seat. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Rob is over here, like, spinning the... Like, yep, like, <laughs> frantically trying to turn the knob. <laughs> get the safe open. Um, yep. I am going to... Do you get another her. robot? Question. Uh, no, I only needed the two. Oh, well, I made a weird... That's one. such oh, a good a robot. robot. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, uh, go ahead, Rob. I'm going to cast a spell. It's going to be Sentry Bot. Uh, I cast Sentry Bot. I get an energy. I'm going to spend two energy with Madison Lee to draw a card. All right. There it is. That's it. So <laughs> I think oh, that yeah. I am probably dead. Uh, let's go to combat, though. Yes. Um, I am going to... I attack you with Kiri. I attack you with this unblockable Nick Valentine and two robots and, I don't know, this thing. And I guess the beam. Whatever. Just sentry bots fresh uh, so it can't attack. The rest of these attack you. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna block robot, theory, and okay, all your two twos. Yep, which means none of my robots die, so I do not get to get clues. Correct. Cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you take six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Okay. Megan, what warrior is this again? Warriors come out to play. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess all that right, four things died. Yes. She's technically um, not a member of the Warriors, but it's this, they represent the film. Gary. I, float, I float one. I will cycle an area Gary. to farmland. Gary. That didn't actually solve hey, anything. I'll get bigger. And I guess that I am passing to die. All right. I'll so. untap. Oh, my upkeep. I exile the top two. I exile Kellogg and Marshall Xantham. It doesn't Fantastic. matter. You attack me with all your I cast Caesar, I and then I attack you with everything. Yes. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> 
Kyle Caesar. Wow, Caesar really got it done, you guys. Yeah, he did. In this in this game, he won the Battle of Hoover Dam. <laughs> <laughs> GG, everybody. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thanks. GG. GG. Good game.